So I'm doing this little beach walk. Don't know what island that is. Don't know. I'll have a look on to Google. I forgot my phone. Well, not forgot it. Just doing stuff with it so I can't run the maps and stuff. Um, so I'm just having a short walk along here. Having a little look. So it's much nicer today. Not much breeze. Don't look, really look as if it's going to rain. It's getting better. Better than the first two days I were up here, Sunday and Monday. Should be a nap. Um, yeah. These white flowers, aren't they nice? Pretty. Okay, it's much drier underfoot as well today, although this is short grass. Um, I'm gonna. I'm, this is only a short walk I'm doing. I've got a few others uh, planned for today. Um, when I get onto the beach, I'm going to just drop down onto the beach and then walk back. Only a couple of kilometres. Uh, but it's nice. Looking over the sea. Over that random island. So, uh, this path does go a bit further, look. Point of air. I probably should come up and not focus on the cycling as much. Um, but it terminates here, it's like a parking area. A little uh, bench. So that's where I've walked from. Ah, that's the name of it, Newark Bay. So that's where I've walked from. I think it looks really nice. Oh, I thought you could get down onto sand from here, onto the beach. Not if you can. Birds everywhere. Yeah, so I'm going to walk back there. Let's look away up there. So look at the size of these stones. Massive. <laughs> kind of easier to uh, walk on them, I suppose. <clears throat> so there you go, just up there. It's that bridge I just went over a few uh, minutes. Ugh, it's a bit soft, this sand. A few minutes ago. And yeah, this sand's opened up to... I mean, this beach has opened up to a bit more sand at this area. Tides out. So that's been my walk of the Newick Bay, very short walk, still quite nice, and then it is when weather's good. I'm just going on a walk to the Gulp, <laughs> I think that's what it's, well that is what it's called, don't know what it is. Uh, I just look to me right, that's that beach I think I've just been walking along, oh no it can't be, there's Oh, the beach must be behind those windmills. Yeah, right, okay. okay there's just this staring, staging area here. I'm assuming that's the gulp. I don't know if you can see that. Big crevice. A little outlet. I should imagine when it's windy. Yeah. Well, it looks like a pinch hole there, so all water will be uh, gushing in when it's a bit breezy and gusty. I would have thought. So that's the gulp, I think. I can't get any data on my phone so I can't look. And I should have gotten up to the visitor centre first, shouldn't I? Apparently, uh, I you see swells and stuff diving into the gulp. More geese making a racket. So apparently, this is a uh, bird flew up here. I've seen it on news, it's devastated certain bird colonies. Danger high cliffs, let's go and have a look. I wonder if there are leaflets I could get, because I didn't realise there's all these like marked posts. I'll tell you what number they are. So I think um, this is where all seabirds breed over the breeding season. Some swallows flying around. 
I seem to have been caught up with a load of people. There's literally no other people around, but apart from like 20, and I'm in the middle room, so. Does look as if there's a path up there. Maybe that's the path that's closed. I'll have a look. So I found the path that's closed. This uh, due to landslide. Oh, I thought they closed it because of the bird flu thing. No, bruff of is it the bruff of the brow of burnt deer nest? What number is this? No number on this one. Seven. Well, that's that little cloud crop with the cool building on it, whatever it is. Um, see some guano down there. Right, I did say nesting birds, I don't know whether they've all flown off for the winter. It's only, what, what is it, 17th of uh, August? Or whether they've all been decimated by the bird flu thing. <laughs> see, uh, see one or two on cliffs. There you go, it's another angle of uh, that little house. See all the caves in uh, whatever that is. <laughs> I'll look it up, I'll look it up and find out what it is. So, I've just been past the way mark of 14, and it says uh, viewpoint towards the uh, Northern Isles. Now, I think I would have been round most of these you can see. Uh, I've done the inner ones. Uh, what have I done? Egglesey, Weir, no, no, Wire, Wire, um, Rousey, and Chapinsey, 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 I'm going to say. So there's a few seagulls, no, uh, like, shall I say, different seabirds we don't normally see. I'm assuming that breeding season must be over. Always miss the puffins. God, I'll come. I'm going to come up earlier. Maybe next year. I, I, depends what happens, doesn't it? With this cost of living thing. Let's carry on. Oh, trick point. This cost of living thing. Um, I don't know whether I'll be able to afford to come up again. To be honest. According to my map, that's mainland of Orkney. The one behind it is Shepensee, but I, I, I. Can't figure it out to be quite honest. I can see a few like islands out there. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. So the feathers, oh yeah, you can smell it. Ooh, yeah, 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 you can smell it. So there's feathers flowering. There is places where you can get one mass of mauve. I've decided to call it mauve because I call it, I don't know. Um, it's a bit patchy this, but I have seen places where it's one big mass. The flower. So that's where I've just come from. A bit of North Shore. It's made of plastic. I was reading about it. It's recycled plastic it's made from. So it's been quite a flat sort of walk, which has made it nice. And like I say, the weather's just right for it. Um, but I'm kind of up against time. I wanted to do something else. I wanted to have a drive around Ireland. <laughs> And all that sort of stuff but uh, <laughs> uh, things take longer than what I appreciate but there were a, a walk on the other side of Ireland I've wanted to do since I saw it last uh, last year so I thought the path led up to that uh, posty thing and it does look as if there is a path that leads up there but Mullhead footpath is up, up that away this is uh, RSPB reserve, I believe. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I, I didn't want to walk that far anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So I think I've still got a mile or so to go. Uh, it's been my uh, Mullhead circular walk for today. Um, quite an interesting walk to see all those cliffs. Obviously I missed all breeding uh, seabirds. Uh, there is that avian flu that's um, killing them all as well. So I don't know if they've flown off or just deed of that flu. Uh, 
So there are all those cliffs which were quite spectacular, interesting to see, and the first bit of it, first few miles, I think a lot of people just went there and then walked back, because there were loads of people around me I didn't like talking to my little GoPro. Uh, but then on the second off, there's a lot of like flower and heather which were nice. But this is just a weird, weird path what I'm on at the moment. <laughs> so, uh, this is me done for today.